Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. Here's yet another headline that you're not gonna mind reading. One little baby boo bet comes from you today. XRP remains ahead of other altcoins, reaching big milestones this week. And um, this this information with this article comes from to, from uh, none other than Santiment. And I'll tell you, look, they've always been pretty level-headed about any of individual crypto. Like, I, I, I can't recall seeing bias from them ever for or against any coin. I just, from my perspective, from what I've seen from them, they're just like looking to get the truth out there. It's on-chain analytics. Um, and so they've certainly been willing to cover XRP over the time that I've been following them. But I tell you, lately, it's just been a plethora of XRP coverage and very positive news because they're, they track all sorts of various metrics and they're just noting, hey, this is what we're finding. So we're talking about a lot going on with XRP and it's interesting. And, and it's not that XRP is the only thing they talk about there. Um, they're <laughs> coming across some very interesting positive tidbits surrounding other coins as well. But all this against a backdrop where the typical person just isn't freaking paying attention. I said over a year ago when uh, when things were going bonkers and you had the, the laser eyes and the diamond hands and all that crap, I said, look, um, the most important time to pay attention is when things aren't so hot because that's the time when prices are down, people are feeling beat, beat down, everything's suppressed, and that's the time where it makes most important uh, it's most important to pay attention because if you don't pay attention there, you're not going to get to enjoy the euphoric phase with actual profits that are life changing. You know, like if you're buying up there and you're all excited, okay, fine, you might get the euphoria feeling. You're, oh, in fact, you're probably going to get that, but. If you didn't buy in when it felt scary and nobody was paying attention, good luck. Good luck to you. In particular, if you're trying to get big returns in relatively short order. When I say short order, it's all relative. But right now what I'm thinking is, you know, we're talking about span of like four or five years, whatever, something along those lines. Because in the stock market, just to double your initial investment, it's pretty normal for that to take a decade. If you just are buying into index funds, which I still think is reasonable to do. It seems like a much less risky thing than investing in crypto, to be honest with you. But I'm still more excited and enjoy crypto. I love the opportunity here. I'm just stating things the way that I see them. But anyway, uh, before I share additional ideas, I want, I want to be clear. I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice. And you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say are right. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. As I record this, XRP is at $0.36. Cents, Bitcoin's at $22,416. Market cap for the asset class, still a little bit over a trillion dollars. I don't mind seeing that. I'll tell you what, I know what I hate, and I don't hate that. <sighs> That's good. Bitcoin dominance is at 40.88%, and here is the latest from the Crypto Fear and Greed Index at 30 out of 100. So currently, the typical retail looming speculators out there, they're, they're in fear, but they're not in extreme fear. And they've mostly been in extreme fear for the last roughly two and a half months. So I don't mind seeing that little bit. So I tweeted this out earlier because I was sitting there just thinking about, like, like, when you think about XRP specifically, and in a vacuum, you could tell somebody who knows nothing about XRP, they'd be like, oh my God, these people. Last year, this thing, it was it was like $2. April of last year was $2. And then it crashed on down recently to 28 cents. It's barely above that. So well over 75% down. Oh my gosh. So there's a person like, oh my God, whoa, that's much, that's a bad, you can want to get out of that, right? And so the typical person doesn't seem to understand what it is to be in crypto. They don't know what XRP is even. And so that would, understandably, without additional information, be jarring to the typical person. But not to me for reasons are, I will articulate right now. First, I want to share with you a tweet on this exact topic I put out just a few hours ago. I wrote, my personal belief is that those who have in insisted for years that eventually XRP will hit a new all-time high and enter price discovery will be vindicated. It's popular to be verbally sour about crypto in general with lower prices, but I will not sway irrationally. And so it, I, I ultimately, I was even speaking to somebody uh, who had concerns, and, and that's fair. I, I, don't, I don't blame people for feeling fearful. You got your own real money. It's, it's fine. I, I understand what it is to be human. I, I, believe it or not, I actually am a human. I just... Uh, play an XRP bot on YouTube. Beep, boop, beep. But I get it. I get it. So you, you, let me just really condense this down in like a couple sentences or so here. A big part of the reason that I'm not fearful, I mean, even if you set aside all the actual utility, and, and even, so like, say you accept the fact that we're in an immature crypto market and people are just speculating. Okay, fine. Even if you just take that approach. 
XRP today is provably moving in correlation with the rest of the market. That means that people are not sufficiently parsing, not sufficiently parsing out the differences between cryptos. And I still think they will in the future, but they're not now. So there's nothing specifically scary about XRP there, certainly. So that, that's my opinion anyway. It's my unprofessional opinion. That's just how I see it. And then additionally, you see crypto moving in tandem with equities. So if stocks are doing that as well, I still just don't get how it makes any sense in the world to be fearful. And so fine, everybody was hoping by this point there would have been another alt season and instead only a handful of mainstream coins popped. You had well, this there, whatever, fine. But... I still think there's going to be another big burst. I think it's going to be led by Bitcoin at some point in the future. And I don't mind the fact that market cycles exist. And this is what it takes to achieve life changing wealth. That's what I believe anyway. And we'll see how this pans out, which is why, again, you do you do you girl. I ain't telling you to buy or sell or hold. You do whatever the hell you want. I don't know anything for sure. I don't pretend to. But I'm saying what I think makes sense for myself and I act accordingly. And... It helps to be armed with all sorts of data. I, I will say that, right? But there's reasons, so many reasons that if, and I didn't even get into the actual utility because again, I still think utility matters and will win the day, but that's probably, first of all, it's probably a Wednesday, I don't know, but it's going to be way, way, way further into the future when, when utility sufficiently matters. It's all a matter of time so far as I'm concerned. Um, there is also this, I just thought I'd share it with you from chart analyst Leb Crypto. He tweeted out this morning, 40, this is about XRP. 44 cents remains my target Target if Bitcoin maintains $22,500 support over the coming week. So 44 cent XRP. And he's been talking about the idea of it moving up for a little bit now, somewhat recently. And we're a hair below that target of 22,500 for Bitcoin right now, but eh, still the weekend. We'll see how it rolls. Hopefully that's, uh, that level of support that he targets as important in Zapoleon, because I wouldn't mind seeing it higher. It's fine. Like, I already decided my bags are packed, so it doesn't matter for me personally. And if it could make people feel less stressed out about their damn XRP holdings, hey, let's get this party started, man. Bust out the salsa and tortilla chips or whatever. Whatever grind, or, 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 what, what's the saying? Whatever cr cranks your shaft or shafts your, no, I, I did that right. When it cranks your shaft, I don't know. Just, just tell me if I did that right in the comment section below. I'll, I'll read it probably. Um, and then there's this, the headline from you today, XRP remains ahead of other altcoins reaching big milestones this week. And this comes from Santiment, so I thought I'd pull up the actual source here. And uh, this is on Twitter, they wrote, with a little, they got the, oh, that face. It sounds like Randy Marsh when you do it like that, but, oh, oh, oh you know that? That's the little, oh my God face. And then they wrote, after the emoji, they wrote, XRP is ahead of the altcoin pack recently, and some major milestones have hit over the past week. In addition to several massive active address spikes firing off, there have been massive dormant tokens shifting addresses this week. Keep a close watch. And they tweeted that just last night. Um, and so here is a chart that they share on their website. And it's so fascinating. See, like, I just, I don't pretend that I can explain why what we're seeing occur is actually occurring, but this is just data pulled from the XRP ledger. It's on-chain analytics. And so you can see, yeah, it's whatever. There's various activity. Oh, so what you're seeing in yellow here, that's one that I'm looking at right now. It's daily active X XRP addresses. And so it goes up, it goes down. And typically it's, you know, it's not uncommon at least to see during times of momentous shifts in crypto price, just as an asset class, you get, you know, more attention, let's say. But that's true of pretty much any coin anyway. But... If you look what's been happening in particular back to, say, the end of June, though, what are these massive freaking spikes? I can't make sense of it. So, you know, look, and I shared this in a video, I don't know, when would that have been? A couple weeks or so ago, I made a video where I was highlighting some interesting behavior about new account activations, and I pointed out, and I do feel strong about this, actually. I just did my own little amateur on-chain analysis, and I, I came to a pretty strong conclusion, which I, I think really still, I think it stands reason to this day, that when you we saw these notable jumps just since, um, you know, the beginning part of May-ish uh, in, in XRP new accounts, they were so perfectly correlated to scary moments in crypto resulting in collapse. Like if you think about Celsius, you can think about P Three Errors Capital, all the scary nonsense that was out there. I showed you the scary stories on those days in that video. You may recall me doing this. And then I was like, and here's the corresponding uh, new account, uh, XRP account activation. So what that meant, in my humble opinion, was that people were finally, who were already, probably mostly, if not entirely, already XRP holders, 
They saw the scary news and like, oh my God, what's going to collapse next? I better take self-custody of my XRP. And I think that's what people were doing. I think they were fleeing exchanges effectively, which to me sounds perfectly responsible. I don't, I don't have XRP on exchanges. But um, as far as this, this is daily active addresses, not new addresses. And so you can see little bursts kind of like if you go back to May 11th, okay, there was a burst here. So maybe some of that's like, that's part of it, I suppose. But that doesn't explain the rest of all this. So to be honest with you, I'm not quite sure what we're looking at, but I thought I'd highlight it because I am curious about this. If anybody has any ideas as to why you'd see those spikes specifically with daily active addresses, I'm open to ideas on that, but it's not the same as what we saw with, with new addresses. So I thought I'd just mention that. Uh, and then there was this from chart analyst Credible Crypto. He's talking about Bitcoin here and he says, key level here on low time frame that we need to hold for continued momentum to the upside. Lose it and we likely see just under $20,000 again. Thus far, no major breaks in lower time frame bullish structure though. And here's the chart for those of you looking at your device, if you care to see it all up on your screen. So here's what he's talking about. I don't know what's going to hold. It's just, so it's like, the, I, I can only say this, most of the analysts that I follow, just in a general sense, they think we've seen the worst of it. So even if things, and still, well, even saying that though, nothing literally goes up in a straight line forever. So I see the worst of it. Well, how low did it get? I can't remember now. Is it the high 16,000s or low 17,000s? I'd have to go back and look, to be honest, in terms of Bitcoin price recently. But it's, but I'm just saying, like, even if you have a bit more of a breakdown, okay, it's not going to go up in a straight line. It doesn't matter. For me, the, the name of the game is patience. It just doesn't freaking matter. So let me know what you think below. Those are some of my general thoughts and especially kind of checking the temperature of the room. It's always interesting to see how people are behaving and what they're saying on social media. Like, what a fun sample of humans, you know? <laughs> Some of them that's actually true, but I was being a little bit sarcastic saying like some of like I'm sympathetic for, for many people like when they say I really am. But with some people, the lower price action, it just brings out the worst in humanity. And I'm sitting here like straight chilling, S-T-R and then the number eight chilling. But man, some of these people, they need additional chill. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambeau.